Hello? Hello. Oh, you are ready. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name, baby? Tiana. What is it? Tiana. Tiana. Where are you calling me from? Atlanta. And I said T, like T as in Tom. I, what did I say? I, I thought I said Tiana. Oh, I thought she said Deanna. No, no Deanna. Worries. Okay. Tiana, how old? You said in Atlanta? Yeah. How old are you? 31. 31. What do you do for a living? Um, I work in insurance for the government. Okay. Works in insurance. Do you have any kids? I have two, two boys. They're five and seven. Okay, five and seven. What about the same man? Yes. yes. Why are you not together? Um, we were together for 11 years. We started dating when we were like 18. Um, it turned into like a seven year engagement. So I just, you know, went my separate way. He had like commitment issues. He was a mama's boy. So, okay. Yeah. Y'all were engaged for seven years? Mm hmm. So, what was the final straw when you were like, year seven, we still not getting married? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. She said, yeah. Seven was her, yeah. seven was her out yeah. job. Uh, he what's was zodiac sign? and stuff. He wanted, like, he was controlling. He didn't want me to work. So I was a stay-at-home mom and girlfriend for that whole it's time. It's so funny. There's women who want that life. They call me every day. They want a provider. And they didn't want to work. So he, you had that and you didn't want it. It's, I want it, but, like, I still like that. But there has to be a balance. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to still, like, have my own hustle. Like, I wanted to go to law school instead. And he was like, I don't want to marry a lawyer. So You don't want to marry like, a lawyer. Yeah, I was just like, well, then, you know, I'll just go my separate way and go to law school. <laughs> right, right. Okay, fair enough. So what's your um, zodiac Cap sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. So we got Tiana. Tiana? Yes. Tiana. Alana, yeah. 31, Capricorn. She works in insurance. Mom to a five and a seven-year-old by the same man. Um, I think I got it all. What kind of man are you looking for now? Still the same provider, gentleman. I'm old fashioned, so I grew up in a household with a housewife, so I still like that. Um, but just more of like a balance. Because that's confusing, because you literally said you had that, but you didn't like it. So what is the, you, you want a provider, but you say you just want to go to law school. Well, someone that wants to provide for me in my environment of what I want to do. Like, I had an acting career. He canceled. I don't want someone that's insecure that is still a provider. There well, wait, we are you not going to law school? I, I so am. You, you're going to law school and you're an actress? No, I, I had an acting career when I was 19. I was just saying he was insecure, so he basically distracted me from all of that and, waste, you know what I mean, canceled a lot of things that I had going on because of his, his insecurities. So... Someone said it's not confusing. No, it is confusing, and, and, I'm, and I'm about to try to understand so you're going to law school, which is a great job. So when you make your money from your law school, you want to just keep it or are you not going to work? You said you want to provide. Well, I mean, I believe that, you know, like your wife can have a million dollars, but that's haram. You know what I mean? You don't ever take from your wife. That's her money to take care of your children and do what she needs to do. Say something ever happens to you. Now she's in a stable position where she can keep the family afloat. So it is haram to take from your wife. Okay, so now we're, this is somebody said I was confused. Now I'm getting better understanding. So as a lawyer, are you going to school to be a lawyer? Yeah, but I would want to do like public servant work and help people that are less fortunate and can't afford good attorneys. Okay, so basically all the money you make, you don't want any of that to be for the household. You want it to be in savings for a rainy day. Correct. Okay. Okay. And retirement and, and, you know, for the children, investments, that way, neither one of us have to work. Okay. That's okay. my job. Okay. I, you know what I mean? I multiply things and make them better. You provide and keep everything going. Okay. Okay. One more question that I might think some men might ask. So a lot of times when men are the providers paying all the bills, they want a woman to make sure she's cooking or having the food ready every night. Would you do that? Yeah. I don't mind doing that. Okay. I like doing that. Now, they're, they're telling me to ask you, are you Muslim? No, I'm not. I just grew up with um, a lot of, like, around a lot of Middle Eastern people when I was younger. So okay. some parts of their culture I appreciate. Okay. Now, you do have two boys. So when you go into the next scenario, 
So you want this man to provide for you and your two boys, correct? Correct. Okay. I mean, they have a dad that provides for them, but you know. Well, you want a man, I mean, you're telling me you want, you don't want to pay no bills. So if you yeah. move into a household and this new guy who's not their father, he will be providing for them because he's paying all the bills for in the house that they would be living in. Correct. Correct. Okay. Um, that's what she desires. Now I'm gonna let you respond. Because there's gonna be some people and some men or make more majority men they're mm -hmm. gonna say that okay, you want me to provide for you and your two kids and you make money and you keep it to yourself. Um and you actually had that with the children's dad and you didn't like it. So what would you say to the man that thinks that's kind of crazy? I mean, maybe I'm just not your cup of tea, you know? I don't know. That sounds like you have some issues where you didn't grow up seeing that, so you don't know what a real man and a real provider should be. Well, one would say a real man provides for his children, and your children technically are not his. And they are provided for. But you want him to provide for them, too, because you want to go to another dynamic in which he would be the sole provider. And you said you will have money, but you would keep your money for a rainy day. So you want his money to provide for you and your children, which are not technically I'm, children. I mean, I still did household things. Like, I will take care of, like, you pay for the roof, the major bills. I'll buy food and, like, household necessities and things of that nature and things like the kids needed. I bought stuff like that. So it's like, there's still a balance. It's not all just, you know what I mean? You're taking care of these kids when they have a father. So majority of stuff, you're just paying for the roof over their head. No one's asking you to pay for their sports and things of that nature, well, the roof, unless you want. Over their head is, is a big deal. Indeed. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. All right. Either way, so we got it. So what are your deal breakers besides not a provider child? Um, um, just not open-minded um you can't hold a conversation you get easily frustrated um you don't have any emotional intelligence you know what i mean like how we're talking and you know i can tell you don't really agree but you're still able to hold the conversation like well, most I would say this is not really for me to agree you're not looking for me right you're no i know me. right but, but you're you know saying I mean? we could we could have a discussion yes right. okay so someone who doesn't you say you, you call it emotional intelligence. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Um, no, not really. Okay. So the biggest, so the, your biggest deal breaker is a man who doesn't have emotional intelligence. Yeah, and I guess someone who drinks. I don't, I'm, I don't like alcoholics. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, I want you yes, to be in shape, keep yourself up. Like I have boys that play sports, so I would prefer if you were athletic. Okay. Be in shape. Um, what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Yes. Um, I guess like minimum like a hundred thousand. Okay. It's I have a lot of knowledge. Like I can help build you up. You know what I mean? Like I work with nonprofits and teach business owners how to um, structure their business property to qualify for funding. So. Okay. A hundred K is the minimum. So if a man made 70K, should he not reach out to you? I'm open to negotiation. It depends on what their personality is like. You know what I mean? There's other factors. Like if you're charismatic, you can speak well. Like I said, like I can teach you. Okay. Let's do the kids or cam. Um, let's do okay. Who's helping you with the camera? Oh, uh, my sister. Okay. Yeah. Can I see you, boo? Okay. Um, Tiana, correct? Yes, Tiana. Tiana. Okay, Tiana. I apologize. Tiana. No Should the guy be in Atlanta? Um, I would prefer yes, but I'm once again negotiable. Okay, you I'm compromising okay. person. Oh, could he have children? I don't mind. Okay. Do you want more kids? I do. You do. Okay. When was your last relationship? Um November. Last okay. November. Was it your children's dad? No. Uh, we, we broke up like two years ago. Okay. Did the last guy you break up with, did he have all these requirements? He did, but he proposed to me and he just had a lot going on, so I broke Girl, up. It seems like you had two <laughs> men. It seems like, I mean, he, I'm, was, okay. he was a little crazy. It was just too soon. Like, I just met him. I don't know. 
You, you had a guy that you had was kids a, with who wanted to be the provider, and you didn't really like that one. Now you tell me the last guy November proposed, and he but he, he was, was an alcoholic, a, so oh. that's why I don't I don't do that. Okay, no, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so he was alcoholic. Yeah. All right. Um, what? When was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Um, it's been a while, probably no. November. Yeah. November. Yeah. Okay. Um, three flaws you have to work on. Um, I think everybody has things that they can always learn. We're always learning and evolving. So. You said say one more time. I said. I I think everybody has things that they can improve on and we're always learning and evolving. So I can't name three flaws. You know what I mean? I'm a human being. Like everybody has things that they can improve on. Yeah. So name three things that you can improve in. It's not a hard question. I guess, um, patience. Um, I'm not really too compromising and I'm not good at budgeting. Okay. You say you're not too compromising. Um, Tiana, did I say it right this time, Tiana? Yes. Okay. Tiana, Atlanta, 31. What's the age range you would date? Um, 36 to 45. 36 to 45. 36 to 45. So we got Tiana, Atlanta, 31. Capricorn works in insurance. Mom of two boys, five and seven. Open having more kids. She'll date 36 to 45. Make at least 100K is the preference. She can negotiate it if you have a good personality and other things. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, because I am one in a million and I'm a great package deal and I know what it takes to be a housewife because I was raised in that world. You don't really want to be a housewife though, I thought. I do. I just don't want to be held back on ambitions that I have. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes sense, but I think the definition of a housewife is a woman who's married and does not have a job, and her job is the house. That's why they call it a housewife. That's not what you, of, of course, that's why I, said I was confused earlier. I, I'm under the impression you don't want to be a housewife. You want to be a woman who has a career as well. So... I guess I just want the choice. Like, I want to be taken care of and feel safe and provided for. And then if I make that choice, then it's not an issue. Does that make sense? Like, why are you bearing kids? No, I get yeah. it. But I would just say, listen, I get that. But I just want to call that a housewife. Like, you want to work, which is not, which is not wrong. Yeah, well, not like when I'm bearing kids or things of that nature. Like, I kept my kids home until they were old enough to be school age. Like, when they were five, I breastfeed. I do home birth, I make their own food, I cloth diaper. So like, I'm very like, you know what I mean? I am a doula in my free time. So it's like, I'm very in the birth world. So that's why I guess like, in those times, I want the provider and to be the housewife. Okay, so are you saying in particular, if you have another baby, you don't want to work or? Correct, yes, okay. I would not. Now, now let's just say you don't, let's just talk this period in your life. You have five and a seven year old. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be in the house or do you want to continue to pursue your law career? It just depends if I'm needed in the house because he has a business and he needs more help then you know what I mean? I don't mind putting what I have on pause to help him reach his goals. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's do it, baby girl. Are you on the Kendra G singles dating app? No, I am not. Okay, what's your, what kind of phone do you have? An iPhone. All right, so go to the app store, type in Kendra G singles and create your profile. How do you spell your name again? T-I-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. T-I-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Let me see if that name is taken. Um, it is taken, but it's not a lot of them. So they would be able to find you fast because on the app, you can also search my name. Mm -hmm. um, do, you wanna, do you have a favorite number? Um, a number? Do you have a favorite number? Because I would say make your name Tiana in the number. And they oh, can find you 31, I guess. All right, so, so if you make your name... Tiana 31, that way they can find you fast. Okay. Okay. Tiana 31. And um, let's see what it does. Keep me posted how it goes, girlfriend. Okay. Do you, do you need my IG? I don't. Okay. All right. Bye, baby. Kendra G Singles, the dating app is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.